every morning when my alarm goes off, it's just, uh. <laughs> National champion Ariana Vanderpool Wallace has been waking up for morning practice for as long as she can remember. Today was no different as she continues her training for the 2012 Olympic Games. Okay, off to practice we go. To me it's not optional, I have to get up and do it. I want to make sure I do everything that I can right, so at the end of the year I can say that I gave it my all. It drives me a lot to know I'm getting a ton accomplished before everybody else is even awake. The other people that I'm competing against in the world are probably doing the same thing as me, so I have to do something a little extra to get ahead of them. It was definitely hard to figure out what I could do to make myself better. Brett Hawk was a huge aspect in my entire career. Step one. <laughs> really, the only limitations with her is her size. She's five foot six, and she's going to race girls that are six two, six three, and we're trying to get to number one in the world. The only way we can do that is through gaining strength in the gym so that she can pull herself through the water quicker and faster. It was never an actual conversation that we had, but more of, and I need you to get into the weight room and I need you to work as hard as you can in the weight room because it's going to translate into the pool. She's ultra strong. Oh my gosh. She can pull her own body weight three times over, and so we're going in with the attitude of we're tougher, we're stronger, and hopefully that puts us on top, or at least in the mix amongst the best girls in the world so we can contend for a medal. Thanks, PK. Bye. After weights, I like getting in the pool. It kind of lets my muscles relax a little bit. It's a different kind of movement, more fluid. The idea this morning is we, we are going to add uh, some resistance. We're going to do some drilling, some sculling, a little bit of underwater stuff. And then as we progress, we'll get a little faster, a little more intense, maybe even a little shorter, okay? But then we start going into hard stuff, and I'm like, oh, my muscles aren't ready for this. Ariana, when you catch and throw, I want you to connect here as well. Bang, there, you know what I mean? It's really nice to have a coach that knows exactly what I'm doing and has been exactly where I've been, and he's also taken a swimmer to where I want to go. So I have a ton of confidence in Brett because I know he knows what he's doing, and I know that he's not going to make me do anything that isn't necessary or that he doesn't think that will help me. How's the body feeling? Better than yesterday. Feeling recovered or more? Yeah. We're going to do some back end speed tonight. It's really important having a coach that you can trust because if you don't trust them, that automatically takes away the mental aspect of your workout. And if you can't mentally do it, then it's going to be a lot harder to physically do it. Just finished up some practice. And now I'm going to get ready to go to class, get some breakfast, some more coffee probably. We just have an hour or so between practice and when class starts, so we go to Starbucks. Saturday night, yeah. You're taking it at 10 p.m. No, no, like my final, Saturday night, and you're taking it at 10 p.m. Yeah, yeah. I will never forget the girls and the guys that I've trained with for these four years. I couldn't have made it through if I was doing this by myself. There's no way. They are going to be a part of me forever. I kept falling in method all week. <laughs> I was like, I'm taking method. I'm a hotel and restaurant management major, and Auburn has one of the best programs in the nation. Honestly, when it comes to the SPSS quiz that you'll have on Tuesday, if you've practiced it and you know it, it won't take very long. Coming into Auburn, I didn't really realize that connection, but now leaving Auburn, I realize how much better of an education I'm getting here than if I had gone to another school. So I'm really appreciative of Auburn for letting me come here and have the opportunity to represent such a great school. Off to lunch now, I guess. It's kind of hard to get through the last 30 minutes of class thinking about what I'm going to eat for lunch instead of thinking about class, but I know going into the day that I have to have that time in class and that I'm going to be eating soon. Thank you. If I've had a stressful week, I'll just go home and I'll sit on the couch and I'll eat lunch and just relax, but if it's just a normal day like today was, I'll go and grab lunch somewhere with a friend and just talk. What side were you on? The one closest to the pool? It's kind of weird because I can't really remember a life without Alana. She's been with me through it all. We both experienced the Olympics together for the first time. We qualify together. We're roommates now, and we've been roommates for three years. We're constantly laughing at something. It makes it a lot easier to train because we're having fun and we're doing the stuff that we love to do while having fun. He was like, my grandma coming? She's 82 years old. <laughs> I would do anything or go anywhere for her, and I feel like she would do the same for me. Time to get in the pool. It's literally eat, sleep, swim. That's what I do with my life. The Olympics only comes every four years, so I have to do everything that I can. You're here, and 
then you split and you do that, you should be pulling with your hand that's on the bottom. My dream has always been to go to the Olympics, but now that I went in 2008, I want to go a step further and prove that I deserve to be there. And I want a final and I want a medal. I got another winner. She's got the chance to do some pretty spectacular things for herself and for her country. And ultimately, we're just trying to focus on what she can control and what she can do. And if it so happens that she makes a final, wins a medal, it's going to be a pretty big thing for her country. I took a breath, like right before the 25. The... I love doing my breathing class. Oh, yeah. It's an exciting feeling to know that I could be the first, but at the same time, I just want to swim as fast as I can. And if that's not good enough, then as long as it was good enough for me, that's all that matters. Thanks for spending the day with me today. Done with practice. Got to go get some food because I'm hungry and then some studying to get the day over with. See y'all later.